Hello, my name is Todd Jorgensen. I'm a fine arts conservator. I specialize in wooden artifacts, objects, and furniture. A conservator is a professional that takes a scientific approach to slowing down the deterioration of organic matter. Um, conservation isn't, you know, let's tear the whole thing apart and then replace broken parts or, or refinish things. It's dealing with that object using these modern methods and materials that, you know, will slow down the deterioration of, you know, this organic matter that we're dealing with. You know, I've dedicated my life to the preservation of cultural property for future generations to admire and study and learn where we came from. You know, our heritage is all we know of ourselves and what we preserve of it is our only record. This is, uh, came to me from Cape Fear Museum. First quarter 19th century table made and signed E.S. Elijah Sanderson. Sanderson, right. That's uh, identified in uh, the book of Coastal North Carolina Furniture by John Bivens. The curator Barbara Rao sent this to me. She's all excited because it's just a fabulous table and she uh, wants to get it conserved for a future exhibit. So my job right now is just to do a treatment survey. You got a section missing right here as well. And you can actually see the handmade wrought iron cut nails. Period nails, never been moved. But the section's missing right here. And you can actually see the indication of the glue. And when I check the finish to identify the finish I can also fluoresce this animal protein glue and you probably be able to see a ghost line of where the glue was. One thing about furniture conservation <coughs> is you have you have to have education on the joinery of the period furniture to know how they made this furniture I know that this period of time that these front legs should have sliding dovetails. They shouldn't be bolted on or, or anything like that. They should slide right into a socket. It's just been chewed up. It has to be rebuilt. This leg should slide in there very nicely and it shouldn't move at all. Which means it has to, all, these sides all have to be rebuilt. The wooden substrate has just completely broken out over a period of time. Okay, it should be like this side here. Let's see, I would have to propose a treatment on rebuilding this wooden substrate right here. So this dovetail, see they added this right here. They glued that block on hoping that would help, but that just didn't do a thing, did it? <laughs> the next thing I want to do is I want to check the carvings. Here's a perfect example of what it used to look like when it was made. See how it terminates. The pedal just terminates very nicely. Whereas this one right here is broken right off. Design features are very important to antiquities, I believe anyway. Um, because everything flows beautiful and all of a sudden it goes, stops. And you can see the flaw in it very easily. Some museums want me to reestablish the carvings and some want me to just say no, let's just say, educate the general public and say hey this is what happens over a period of 150, 175 years, you know, things get abused and things get broken and you know, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. I've submitted uh, all my documentation as far as what I've found. I've submitted my photographs, the photo documentation uh, on the treatment survey. Um, I have did some research and found exactly the type of hinges that belong on this table that absolutely match perfect. No matter how much money the museum spends, it's going to be an investment because this is a great example of cabinetry at its finest 
in North Carolina coastal region of that period of time.